Hey all, Zach here from 45 Drives with my first ever tech tip. In today's video, I want to talk about a topic that as a support member, I've been hearing more and more about, and that is SSD trimming, specifically in regards to ZFS. So on the docket for today, along with talking about trim, we're gonna talk about how SSDs work, garbage collection, the benefits, and how to enable trim in Houston. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So before we talk about SSD trimming, we need to lay a little bit of groundwork and talk more about how SSD store, modify, and delete data. With SSDs, data remains in flash memory until the block containing the data is erased. A block is a data structure that is composed of units called pages. A page is the smallest unit of data storage on an SSD, which is composed of multiple memory cells. The last piece to our foundation is knowing that write operations can only be performed on empty pages and erase operations can only be performed on the block level and not the page level. So I promise we're almost at SSD trimming here. I just need to briefly talk about garbage collection. So think of it as we're putting a small addition onto the foundation for garbage collection. Like I mentioned before, SSDs have this limitation where data can only be written uh, to empty pages and erasing can only be done at the block level. So when new data needs to be written to the SSD, the drive must perform a background process called garbage collection. This process involves reading valid data from the block, erasing the entire block, and then finally writing the data back to the block along with this new data. This causes an issue called write amplification that can impact the performance and longevity of your SSDs. More on that shortly. Now that we have a solid foundation, let's talk about the main topic of this video, and that is trim. So trim has been available on most modern OSs for a number of years now, including Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and FreeBSD. So when data is deleted from an SSD, the OS marks the space as available. But here's the thing, the SSD controller doesn't automatically know uh, which pages contain that deleted data. Without trim, the SSD controller assumes that all pages, even those with deleted data, still contain valid data. So this leads to inefficient garbage collection and slower write operations, since the controller needs to read, erase, and rewrite the block containing both valid and invalid data. So given a little, little analogy on this process, imagine we have a librarian, and this is our operating system, and a library assistant. This is our SSD controller. So when a book is removed from a shelf, the librarian knows this space is available for new books. However, the library assistant doesn't know about this. Maybe they spilled coffee on the librarian's signed copy of Catcher in the Rye or something. They aren't on speaking terms with the assistant. I don't know, I'm not up to date on the lore of this library. So without trim, our library assistant assumes that all spaces on the shelves are filled with books, even the empty ones. So now what happens when new books arrive, they need to check each shelf, remove the old books, then put new books in their place, and this takes a lot of time and effort. So this occurs if we don't have trim enabled. But good news everyone, the librarian and the assistant are on speaking terms again, they replace their copy of the book, all is good. The librarian is now informing the assistant which shelves have spaces on them, and this information, with this information, they can quickly and efficiently put the new books on the shelves without wasting time and effort and checking and rearranging books. So now let's take a deep dive into the benefits of enabling trim. It can increase the lifespan of your SSDs. SSDs have a limited number of program erase cycles, which means that each memory cell can only be written to and erased a number of times. By enabling trim, the drive can more evenly distribute uh, these across the memory cells, reducing wear on the individual cells. So previously I mentioned write amplification. By enabling trim, the SSD can minimize this phenomena where more data is written to the SSD than was intended by the user, increasing wear on the drive. With trim, it enables garbage collection to perform more efficiently, ensuring only necessary data is written during the next write cycle. And lastly, the big one, performance. Trim allows the SSD to manage free space more efficiently by letting it, the drive know that blocks of data are no longer in use and can be wiped internally. This helps maintain the drive performance over time as write operations will have more blocks readily available. So if you have a workload that's largely writes or manipulating files, enabling trim can be great for performance. But since it aids in garbage collection with reducing the read, write, modify impact, it can be great for other workloads too. 
So how do we enable trim? Let's jump over to our Stornator and get into the Houston UI. If you're building a fresh CFS pool, you'll be able to check off automatic trim from the get-go. But let's say you have an in-production pool, we'll navigate over to the ZFS tab, we'll click this little hamburger with three dots, and configure the storage pool and check off automatic trim. It's worth noting that if you enable this on an in-production pool, it'd be beneficial to schedule this during non-peak time to avoid any potential performance impacts. So at 45 drives, we have some great options for all flash arrays that can benefit from trim, like our hybrid Stornator, our 2U all flash Stornator, and our soon to be released all NVMe Stornado. Trim isn't a necessity, but if you have the ability and the workflow that can benefit from enabling it, it's definitely worth doing so. So here's a fun fact. Notice how trim is always capitalized. It expected to be an acronym for something. No, no it's not. And I spent way too much time looking for what it stood for. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody. Hopefully this highlighted some of the features and benefits from Trim, along with giving a better understanding of Trim. And of course, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you later.